All right, so we're trying another iteration of Bant Eldrazi. This is one of the decks that I'm considering heavily for the upcoming event. Um, same. Um, we didn't make too many changes in the main deck here. We went down to one um, Eternal Witness, and then everything else was pretty much the same. And then in the side here, Oh, update. Uh, in the side here, uh, we messed around a little bit. So we have the fourth path still. We're on three rest in peace now and three stubborns. Um, we added in a Rex Sage and a Thrag Tusk, and we cut out a Knight of Autumn uh, because we were on three for an EE. So we're going to try this version out. And if it does bad, I might just be on Tron. <laughs> 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 because uh, I have been do I've been play testing Tron. Um, play play Adnos. Play Adnos? I mean, it's not bad right now. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Adnos seems not that horrible. Like, the, the, like, a lot of the things that people are playing are, like, Phoenix or Were Prison mm -hmm. or, um... Dredge. Yeah, Dredge. And, like, all of those decks really aren't that good against Ad Nauseam. Right. Like, Were Prison doesn't play the, you know, like, ubiquitous, like, Chalice mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And, um... I don't know, it's like Angel's Grace and Phyrexian on Life seem really good against the Phoenix deck, and yep. Dredge, it seems like you just get free wins because they can't do anything to interact with you. Right. They're just like, oh, swing out, can fly, kill you. Like, Angel's Grace, my turn, kill you. Yeah, or you just kill them before they do anything. Yep. Like, Dredge is unfair in the fact that it has, like, it gets to draw five cards every turn. Yeah, that's so stupid. It's not unfair. And play free though, spells. Like, so many free spells. Obviously, you just play Grishel Brand and get him. <laughs> Own that as well. But Spike that, deck, that tournament. That deck beats itself too. Oh boy, late. this hand's. This it's hand not is ideal, but it's perfect. fine. This hand is fine. It has mana, it has creatures. What more could you want? Oh my god, we're against the Storm Guy again. Are we? No, this is definitely a Phoenix deck. Feels like a Phoenix deck. <laughs> I mean, it could literally be like thirteen different decks with this start of You're not wrong. Scalding Tarn Steam Vent Serum Visions, but it's a Phoenix deck. What? I don't know. It's fine. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh my god, we needed that one. Oh. Rushland <laughs> Noble Hierarchy. So I think you yeah. just get. Oh, well, you don't fetch something? No, I don't I don't really want to fetch anything right now. We want to get turn two blood moved in the main deck. Yes. Right, here comes Serum Visions, and then he gets second land, cast Faithless Looting, then into Phoenixes, Gut Shots, our Noble Hierarch hits us for six. <laughs> and we proceed to concede. <laughs> what? No, we just draw running pads and... Got it. Easy. Uh. No, I'm heard they're not running gut shot anymore. No, they do. You guys are telling me today at lunch they cut gut shot. No, no, no. We were uh, Andrew was saying that they run uh, three surgicals in every list right now, and I said I don't think that's true. I don't think they run three in every list. I think they're on two in a lot of lists and three in some lists. Ancestral visions. Okay, this is not Phoenix. All right, so this is uh, Blue Moon. Is it though? It should be Blue Moon. It's either Blue Moon or the stupid... Oh, it could be the Electro Dominance yeah. deck. So, either way, we're swinging here. Yeah, either way, we're really dead. <laughs> we can beat that deck. I mean, I guess they didn't fetch to play around their own Blood Moons. So. Right. So that's why I'm expecting the Electro Dominance deck. Does that deck play Balance? Yeah, they do. Oh. Some some versions do. Oh no. Balance. Okay, well we're gonna get a basic land here just in case. Which one? Probably a forest? Yeah, yeah, I think a forest. Mm. Thought not. So good. Damn, you so good. Cavern and spaghetti monster. Excuse me, sir, they're called squid billies. Get it right. That, does that look like a squid? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> does it look like spaghetti? I mean, this one does look like a squid. This one. 
No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. He got tentacles on it. That doesn't. It could be what an octopus. This? He's electrodominating right now. What does that do? I've never that's, seen this deck. Oh. You've never seen this deck? No. no. Yeah, we're about to get wrecked. Well, at least uh, we get to escape uh, two lands, right? Yeah. We've we, been the uh, the pain land, right? Yeah, we're gonna bend the pain land. I just want to make sure I'm reading that. Click done. Sacrifice the rest. Choose two lands you control. Yeah. And then we'll bend the smasher. Sure. Seems Oops. reasonable. All right, they'll draw, and then we exile. Remand, remand, echoing truth, and search. I think we take the search, right? Um, we don't I was care thinking about... echoing truth. Yeah. I was going to say the same thing. Because we're man, we don't care about it at all. So I think the options between Search and Echoing Truth. Um, I guess the Echoing Truth they would have to discard a card for. Yeah, but we just lose to them digging every turn to find cards. Yeah, I guess yeah. we take yeah. the Search for yep. count. Uh, you know, we don't want that thing to flip. <laughs> That's a kind of a, like an awkward card to have in the deck with Restore Balance. <laughs> Because you definitely a sack enchantments as part of the balance effect. Yeah, I think restore balance though. I don't know if they do they play that as a four of. Um, I don't. I have no idea. What the, I've never seen this deck. Oh no, it's it's a pretty interesting deck to be honest. Well, at least we have a play next turn. We just draw land and curve out. The old modern four drop, five drop, six drop curve. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, I think they play like one or two Gorg uh, Greater Gargadons too. Oh, really? Um, oh, boy. And then they play Electro Dominance and they play that card. Just. Let's catch it. What? Oh, there goes that Jace. Get out, of, get out of town. What is. Okay, this list is a little bit different than I thought. <laughs> Cause I'm used to the uh, just the one that cycles all those blue ones, and that's I'm still expecting that. Oh my god, cool. target us! Dang it, they saw the line. Darn, they didn't misclick. <laughs> I thought they'd be on the milk plan. Misclick. The amount of the amount of games that are won on Moto due to misclick is always crazy. All right, there's the Gregor Dar Gargadon. That's the other thing they can do. They can do like Greater Gargadon, and then like um, in the exile, and they have Restore Balance. They like sack everything. Mm -hmm. and then you have to sack everything, mm -hmm. and then they have a Gargadon. Yeah. And so it's really funny. Gotcha. And they have Astro Told going. And, and then you just go Plains Path Go. And then it's just like well, back to square one. Think about it though. Drink some water today, you'd be on a loss of calories. I've been day. drinking water, man. That's what I'm saying. If you just don't eat today, you'll be on a negative value of calories today because you have expended more calories than you're intaking. Oh man, I ate some fried chicken covered in uh, <laughs> covered in some probably caloric salt. Oh yeah, probably sauce. Oh my god. We're gonna wait. Yeah, no, they're sacking everything. We're gonna lose all our lands. Thanks. I think we just concede here. No, we have land. No. In hand. <laughs> Make him do it. How did they beat us? Yeah, see, we're gonna, we're gonna draw <laughs> lands. Your move, opponent. How, How many counters do they have left in there? Huh? Because it doesn't sack enchantments. But normal balance does. Right. Restore balances, lands, creatures, and hand. That's it. Yeah. What? I could have sworn I read a chance too. Alright. Never mind. I had to shoot. Venice is great. Shoot, I want to make an electro dominance thousand year storm deck then. Cause that seems sweet, because you can use balance to wipe their whole freaking board. So we have to like hope for like what a path? But we are drawing all the lands. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get them. How many counters are on that thing? We're, Four? We're three more lands. Put this Drowner of Hope into play. And then tap their, their Greater Gargadon and just kill them. 
We'd like to see your caverns right now. We haven't drawn a temple yet. <laughs> no, no, we're not that cool. Oh, That'd yeah. be a pretty good draw. Drop oh, a smasher. No, they have remains in hand. Oh, yeah, they have remains. We, we oh, got, wait, I forgot they had remains. We, we kind of need <laughs> the, uh, the cavern. The cavern. All right, cavern, off the top. One-time dealer. I think we already used our one-time dealer today. Nope. I get to, I have a lot of them. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh. Do it right now. He's going to restore balance again. No, nope, he's going to do it right now. Uh, you just want to smash. He's just like two or two o'clock. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> what? <Wow. laughs> <laughs> 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 Goodness gracious. Wow. Oh. Our opponent's so good. I don't even know how I feel about life right now. <laughs> we drew a blocker. We drew a blocker that gets Chandra. Yikes. <laughs> Can we beat this deck? We have rest in peace. You're asking the wrong questions, right? Now. <laughs> okay. Oh, deputy seems great. Yeah, we'll, we'll play deputy. So does he. Wait, deputy seems great against what? They're. Uh, that doesn't seem great. They can let some cast stuff. Yeah, they kill. So they restore balance and they get the permanent under deputy. It resets the counters. Oh no! I think we want stubs. I don't know, man. Yeah, stubs seem pretty important. And normally I would want Rest in Peace, but they don't seem to be on what I was expecting. Yeah, this doesn't look like the Living End version. Right. Um, Do we know what? Re yeah, our Enchantment Destruction seems pretty decent. I don't so know if I want as well, then. No. I think it's too it's expensive. Way too expensive. I'm thinking just these six. And I So cut the Drowners. And the EEs. Well, I was thinking the EEs. And the spawners, a couple of them, and then a couple drowners leave like one in, or just go spawner, and then all drowners. Yeah, drowners too expensive. I feel like. Okay. Yeah, sure. We did just stare at the drowner in our hand all the time. And the smashers. I mean, if we just had another temple. We've been getting We're in there. so close. So close. We did that hand with suspect. So. But it was also. We knew that hand was very slow. We, but it was also not a hand that I think we. Well, that hand was. Shit. It wasn't slow. Like we had the noble, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, it, but then it was. But then uh, it was smasher. It was five. Yeah, but like drop. we could. We had how many? Like we had three thalias. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was a lot of cards that we could have just yeah, drawn like, and really just got the board going again. Not like, to mention any of the temples would have turbo stuff that hand. Yeah. Like later on, if we would have had to e, e I mean, uh, Eternal Witness there, honestly, would have been solid too because we could have E-Wit, got back caverns, play caverns to block their Gargadon and then start thought knotting and smashing. Would not have been bad, I don't I mean, think. We would have remained at the E-Wit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, you're worrying about the wrong things here. Yeah, it wasn't good. We we exile things with thought not based off the best choices at the time, and then they would like, oh, restore balance. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> like we hit, um, what was it? We hit search and Jace, and they just natural drew us. Yeah. All right, opponent, we see you. We we see you. <laughs> Well, I think we're keeping this. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Path to Exile kills their target. Yeah. yeah. Right. I was like, why did we leave that in? Yeah. I didn't want to bring in more, but I think three is fine. It's fine. I might have left it in one I'm not the uh, spaghetti man. Just a temple, I think. Oh, I misplayed. I should have played Brushland. That's my mistake. That's really bad. Because I could be playing this place during turn two. Yeah. But now I'm not. So I'm so good at this game. Could be displacing him into next week. Mm hmm. Is that any permanent or just creatures? Creatures. That'd be pretty busted. It was permanent. Blink all your lands at your Listen, upkeep. I mean, <laughs> it'd be great. It's three mana. So I mean. We could, like, can we get, like, a functional reprint in War of the Spark where so we can avoid planes walk? Oh, we're so good. Just like play this I just draw spells we can still draw. Uh, I draw spells we can still play. Did you see that essence scatter that also counters planeswalkers? Yeah. That card's it a cost three mana. Who cares? We play cancels in standard. 
<laughs> oh, well, you play standard. There's your problem. No, the this far superior format to this garbage fire. <clears throat> I will have to start playing standard if the Mythic Championship is that high of value. Though. Yeah. Like, holy like, cow. Well, well for need, one, it, like, the Pro Tour is super high value, they just too. I mean, like, all your money. Huh? Like, they triple. Lose all your money when I'm your still... cards rotate every other year. I mean, it's just like this right now. Well, you're playing on Arena, and they're going to introduce yeah. a, an Arena non-rotating format as well. They've actually already talked about doing it in September. I'm talking paper. You know, I just did the same thing now. Yeah, but it's still, cards. like, fairly dirt cheap. I don't know about dirt cheap. The cards are, like, what, $400? I mean, did you see, X? like, like, one, like, the last myth, the first Mythic Invitational that was paper um, was one that had, like, four mono blue. In the in the top eight, that deck's like sub a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I can borrow most decks, honestly. Like to be fair, like I built Drakes, and that deck is like dirt cheap as well. Like I had all the Steam Vents and mm -hmm. Silver Falls of modern. already. Yeah. So and no, I'll keep playing Modern, but I I think inevitably I was gonna have to go back to Standard if I wanted to try to chase the like, Pro Tour. Standard's fun right now too. Like best of three. <laughs> Best of one is a Man. dumpster fire, but best of three is actually pretty fun. Two mana? What did do? Oh, a braid, okay. Like, Blake, I think you would enjoy playing Esper in, in Standard. That does seem like a deck you would like. You get to play Teferi, he's really good, and you kill all of their stuff and counter all their stuff. Oh, I got you. <laughs> Another Displacer. And it's not even every other year you have to buy a new deck. It's every set you have to buy a new deck. No, you don't. Yeah. Most of the time... Because the meta the changes just... every deck. No, it does not. I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee you with this next set coming out, the meta is going to warp dramatically. No. It, it... With 36 Planeswalkers entering the format? Yeah, guarantee you it won't. Most of them are not standard. Oh, we have a pretty established metagame with very powerful cards. Like, you're not going to suddenly have, like... Like, you're going to have new stuff being played, yes. But you're not going to suddenly have this completely different metagame. Your land... Like, the most expensive part about standard, usually, is the land base. And if you play modern, you probably have most of the mana base. Yeah. Because you have your shocks. You probably have your check... The, the check lands that are being played. And if I you don't... don't any of these cards... Once again, I'm going to go back to my first statement. Standard's popular enough in this area that I can just borrow the decks. Modern's more popular. Yeah, but... That's bad. But it's not. You guys are just talking about a personal preference right now? I don't know, man. <laughs> there are things about Modern I don't like, but I still prefer Modern the most right now. I just hate how Modern has so many non-games. That is a true statement, and it's pretty punishing. Well, that's one dead Chandra. Smash this Chandra's realities. Yeah. I think I just want to send the Smasher, Ash, and everything else to them. Yeah. Sure. Oh, what are they going to do? Burn spell? Who might, man? I mean, this Restore Balance is going to be Mm-hmm. They're going to Restore Balance us to nothing. We do have the path to the target on those. We do. We do. It's going to be... And we'll only have to get rid of one brush land too if they do it, so then we'll be able to play all of our. Oh no, we'll sack everything we are gonna. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> or just play a Jace. We're fine with that. That card's fine. Jace, down tick on reality smash. Do it. I don't know what they can do. I think they're dead here. They're just dead if they brainstorm. What am I missing? Double Simeon Spear again. They're literally dead on board. <laughs> they. they they're going to win the Chandra that. last game. They could actually double, double Simeon, Simeon Spear Guide, Electro Dominance, Restore Balance, have a Jason play. <laughs> and a Gargadon. Don't I, talk about I, that. I, I, wouldn't, like I wouldn't even be mad if it did some that. Nope. What was 
it that I lost? You know what I'm sad that we don't have in this deck? That we're not, because uh, we're on the BAM version. We don't have a uh, Wasteland Strangler to get rid of the on the throne of the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Process their Carcadon. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we'll take that, thanks. Die to that, uh... You could Rift Sweeper, then. Mm, I'm just saying. Yeah. This hand's awkward. I think we're gonna keep it, but this hand's awkward. I think it's awkward. We have Ancient Serving to find our temple. Then we're all set. <laughs> You're not wrong. But... I think we're gonna shock ourselves for a Temple Garden to start with. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna draw the, uh, Temple. Don't worry about it. No, oh, I mean, we can be that good. Unless we just gotta see if we I mean, it is you playing. I do have good luck. Damn. Oh. Now I found something else we have to play first. Yeah. <laughs> I found that my luck is vastly improved when I play decks that have Utopia Sprawl in them. Have what? Utopia Sprawl. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, if I, if I just play a deck with Argoth and Utopia Sprawl, I draw so much better. It's kind of like me with Tron decks. Oh, if you play the Tron deck, do we? <laughs> yeah. You can mold. You can mold to three and still turn three cards up. <laughs> Quite easily. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, to be fair, it's usually a mold of four. I, I mean, four is really the upper minimum. Uh, the uppers of where you want to be in life. That, so. Oh my God! It's gonna feel so great to kill that thing right here, right now. I'm so happy with life. Snap them in half. Enjoy your oh, trip get got, son. Alright, about it. You got another one? That's a Gargadon. Man, we have the Cavern of Souls. We could be running Wasteland Strangler in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, not a lot. Oh so my gosh. Cavern. I think we wanted to. Thought not seer? Do we smash first? Um, in this, we, no, in this case, I don't think I would. Yeah. I think I just play Thought Not first. Oh. Well. That's awkward. What'd you do? I, it's not It's not bad. It's just I have to tap it for colorless. Yep. So they can counter it. But they won't oh, realize. I didn't see that. See, we got him. Or they just have a Chandra. Two lands and a Chandra. Woo! <laughs> got this, folks! We got nice this! Snack. Watch him and draw Restore Balance. He's going to be good. No, he's going to draw Restore Balance. And then the turn before we can displace him, he's going to draw Electric Balance and wave us into the ground. <laughs> I mean, he gets Hilarion West for Restore Balance right now. So, just saying. Ooh, jeez. So if he drew Electro Dominance right here, we're just like real dead. Oh no, because he has to tap his name to find that zero drop. Oh, they drew another Gargadon. Cool. Okay. Right, good. Cool. Good. good. Man. Wow. Um. Oh. Age of Sterns. Yeah. Oh my god. Well. I guess we take a Displacer? What's that? The white border? Brushland? It's brushland. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I think I might want to take the brushland. Yeah, take the brushland, because that gives us a color source so we can play things through. We already have a displacer, so it's like, whatever. So we can use cavern to scooter. Uh, you should have played it before combat, do we? Yeah, F6, I really. think. You um, knew their hand. Huh? You knew it was in their hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Luck, folks. You'll get there eventually. Yeah. I believe in you. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't uh, use Stellaria West last turn, though. They're planning on using it for mans. No, because, like, if they... Yeah, if they would have drawn Electro Dominance here, they would have actually cast yeah, it. They would have left themselves open to Dominance or um, As for Told, but in this case, they didn't. So. But All right, we got there. We can win a match when our opponent's deck doesn't do anything. Those are always the things I wish for. That's why I play Karn. <laughs> Exile Land. You're not doing anything, opponent. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> 
It was a red green deck that does that really well. Yeah, but they've adopted into less of doing that and more of just playing mid range creatures. <laughs> like, a lot of them just on like a couple land destruction spells, a couple blood moons, and then threats. Because they're like, well, we should be playing Bloodburn Elf. It's a really good card. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, we should be playing Tracker, too. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, we should be playing Tracker. Wait, and we obviously, just... we need to keep all of our threats still. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> what are we cutting again? <laughs> <laughs> just play Mono Green. Oh, yeah. You get Repudiate Replicate. Oh, my God, Mono Green Control. I hope Andrew's watching. Andrew, <laughs> are you out there? <laughs> we just wanted you to know Mono Green Control still exists. <laughs> I'll play that deck. I should probably just... Borrow the cards from you and sleeve that up, put some repudiate replicates in there, and just beat There's people There's a guy up. that is absolutely crushing tournaments on that deck. He's like the only one that's playing. Dude, it. and he top mono, eats consistently. Uh, like, oh to boy. be fair, oh boy, we're keeping Being this. able to green green stifle mm -hmm. solves a lot of problems for that deck. Green that green 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 stifle? Yeah, repudiate replicate. Yeah. What the the stifle the first side repudiate is a stifle for green blue green blue. Well, excuse me, green blue hybrid, green blue hybrid, and so you can stifle storm triggers, planeswalker activations. You can stifle the uh, the bounce trigger on a flipped uh, thing in the ice. You can stifle a phoenix trigger. Mm. You can <laughs> you can stifle fetch lands, which is pretty good in the deck that casts creeping mold or whatever the hell that card is. Um, what does the other hat set side of it do? Uh, blue green one, put a copy of a creature into a, a creature you control into, or create a copy, a token copy of a creature you control, oh. which is with, still relevant. Yeah, pretty. But relevant. they don't have blue. You have Utopia Sprawl. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you can just easily put like a breeding pool into the deck. I mean, it's not. Yeah, bad. that's what he used to do with the one of like stomping ground to yeah. play his red spells. Um. And it's also really adorable with Ewit because you can just like you have an Ewit in play and you're like, cool, replicate me two one, return replicate to my hand. <laughs> nice. Do it again. And you just make an army of eternal witnesses. Well, we're gonna hope they just that have hot. one payoff. What is this? Valakut? Yikes. Nope. That's why. Alright. Sayonara, do we? Yeah, not yeah, why aren't you playing that deck? That's the other day. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster. <sighs> oh, there's a wood elf. So I was trying to figure out what the hell that old card was, and I was like, uh. <laughs> Don't do it, opponent. Have a heart. Okay, so I imagine they're gonna kill Thought Knot, or do they go for the Displacer? They can only kill one thing, right? Yeah. Well, they if they get. They can only uh, deal three. No. Oh. oh, they have a Volokan. Yeah, no, no yeah. they can only deal three damage. So the Displacer's gone. Yeah. Um, they have a, a land in hand still. And one unknown. And one unknown. Yikes. Um, Ancient man, we are to put our off. three paths that are going to be on top of the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... Man, if Spawner seems pretty could reasonable we to get her at all this turn. No, no, One, two, three, no. We four. had to we had to draw a temple in order to hit Drowner. Would have been great, but um, it's fine. I think where we're at right now is that I think we just want to stirrings and play Sky Spawner and pass. And they're gonna hit us. It's gonna hurt, and then we just hope to hit Drowner. But it's still not. Well, do we play? Yikes. No, because it's not. No, no, we're just in a terrible spot. We needed to. Yeah, we're pass. just dead. I think. I think we're just dead. Play thought now. Let's see what's in their hand. Pack <laughs> another Titan. Sure. So yeah, like we're just dead because on their turn they can go get a Valakut and a uh, land shoot. Six at thought, not draw a card. They swing, and then mm -hmm. they can play they have another lane, and then game. they can play the lane afterwards, kill our other thought, not mm -hmm. and draw another card. So, yeah, I'm I'm good here. We're, we're pretty done, so right, we can take out the EEs. 
We can't eat for six. <laughs> um, I want to bring in the stubs. In the path. In the path. Ugh. Although it's so awkward. Yep. Those aren't great. They're, they, I haven't seen the. Um, yeah, people aren't playing that. The the breach version is. It's playing too. Of the landfall enchantment. No, the. Oh, prism. Prismatic all Prismatic. Mm -hmm. And people are playing the other one too. I don't know. People seem to. Colony hurt. Yeah. I think that's all I really want to bring they don't in. Ever, why don't they, they don't always play? Play what? Prismatic Omen. That card seems so busted in that deck. Because uh, like, there are turns where you, you would have drawn literally any land or ramp spell, you win the but game. you draw the Prismatic Omen that would have been one of those otherwise, mm -hmm. you just lose immediately. Prismatic has higher highs and lower lows, so... Prismatic allows you to kill them with Escape Shift on 6, but okay, we'll any other this. ramp spell would have just put you at 7 mana anyways. Prismatic is good uh, if you... It is a turn faster, though. You can kill them a turn faster with it. I think I'm going to run Temple here and just uh, see if we can get another Temple. If not, mm -hmm. we'll be able to... Stirrings? I mean... I like it. So. Well, no. Because if Prismatic is... So if you have, if you just look at any of the hands I have Prismatic, and Prismatic so if you is go a ramp, ramp spell... Ramp spell into Ramp spell, Prismatic kills the, the with Titan coming into play because you, if you have a Valka. Oh, okay. So it allows you to kill them with Titan on that next turn. Yeah, All yeah, right. yeah. It, it, it makes Titan more relevant. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the line I want to go. Oh, I figured... It rarely really ever we works, but when this does work, it feels great. I just want to see if we get a double. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> it is the right move. Uh, it's probably not the right move, actually. I've seen, I've heard multiple people say it's the right move, so it's got to be the right move. Yeah. Did you just like, hear me say it two times? Because that's not multiple people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the right move. Yeah. Oh my god. Smash for days. I know, but I think we're grabbing a land. Oh, of course. What land, though? I'm pretty sure we're just grabbing an island here. I mean, not an island, the plains here for our path. Because Drowner, we can windswept. Sure. Yeah, the argument to playing um, the stirrings first is if we would have shocked, we could have got like a displacer. Do have it. <laughs> what kind of monster? Okay. Oh, we got a Displacer. Great. We're playing the Stop yeah. Though, right? Yeah, no. And we're, then we're, we're playing, playing the Four Four. And then we're playing the Smasher. And then we're playing the Drowner. So I don't know when we're ever going to get to play that thing. <laughs> That's an Anger. Do we care about that with our hand? I don't think no. so. No, I'm going to take this far seat. <laughs> take this far seat. <laughs> and we just show them things that are... Going to kill them? That are <laughs> yeah. big. Uh, we might not be able to play the Drowner if we don't hit another land, but we'll see how that plays out. It'll be fine. Don't worry. I can't wait for them to, like, be able to call me heart on the next turn. And then... <gasps> We're so good. That's a pretty good draw. I think I... Can I'd rather, ho I'd rather hold Can that they up. they escape shift us next turn? Uh, if they play a... They crack this, it goes to two. Play a land... Um, it goes to six. So then they could do a um, far seek or secure tribe elder into escape shift. But that would only no, be No, their lands will be tapped, though. Right? Hmm? Yes, yeah, their land will be tapped. So, yeah, so, they cannot yeah, kill so us. We, we smash her here. Yep. Fetch up a breed. Now, the downside is that we have to shock ourselves to 17, putting the plays more valid, but that's fine. Yeah. And the path. Like, we have both avenues covered now. The right play was to not play this deck. <laughs> you know, I'm not saying you're right, because I probably should be playing another deck, but I'm enjoying this deck right now, so I think that's fine. Don't try to stifle our fun over here. Like, realistically, I may still just be playing Tron, because that's still a solid deck. But, I mean, this deck has been putting up some results for me, so I don't think it's the worst thing in the world by any means. 
You see this? We're beating up on Scape Shift. <laughs> this deck is amazing. Air quotes <laughs> beating up on Scape <laughs> We lost game one. <laughs> yeah, we're beating up on him now, though. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Granted, we're on the play. Okay, getting to their two lands. Jesus, just two mountains. What is maniac doing? So our path is gonna be good, I guess. What is he doing? I don't know about if you're like so I don't I would still want to always do the correct play even if we are um, in the position to where we are playing a, an off cancer deck right like making the correct play still the correct thing to do at all times right but yeah I, I you are right in the aspect that if we're gonna be playing this deck we may as well be playing the going for everything, right? Like, getting those crazy plays and punishing them because of it, so. Well, yeah, let's see what they got. Did we want to hold up path there? I wanted to hold up stub. Yeah, but prime time is pretty good here. We could have pathed in response to the land search trigger. Oh, we should count on that for sure. No. <laughs> oh, they're going to go for the uh, the green source and then go for the scape shift. Yep. And we're going to stumber denial them into the next into the next game. Into the next game. You may now concede opponent. No, they want us to smash them. <laughs> they wanna get that lucky misclick. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. Okay, so they are on the version <laughs> that has colony. So these have higher value now. Do they though? It's just colony. Yeah, and, like, we have to have them in our hand at that specific moment. I don't think they're, like, I think taking these three out for those three is pretty reasonable. I like Drowner over, taking Drowner out all those, over those. Drowner can keep primetime tap down on the yeah. swing. Though. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I definitely <laughs> do make the plays that put my opponent on tilt. At regionals, I was going against Tron, and I kept a hand that was pretty shaky, but I had a turn one stubborn. And so they went uh, sphere because they were on the play. Oh, we'll keep this. Oh, uh, they were on the play. They went sphere go. I went uh, fetch land go. They went crack it for scrying. I'm like, uh, stub it? They're like, what? Yeah, I'm going to stub that. They're like, uh, okay, so for the next three turns they went Drago, 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 and then picked up all their cards, signed the slip, and stomped off, can proceed to come back, mark drop, and leave. I'm like, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. It's almost like that time I convinced you to uh, register Manatide. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting people with that. <laughs> all right. They never expect the Manatide. Classic mono white Manatides. <laughs> It was my phone. I was like, what do you play? Like, I swear I'm not going to counter your spells. I'm like, I don't know, man. You can live with mana time. <laughs> like, okay, I guess I, that, that is a thing. Because <laughs> I kept tapping my caverns for uncounterable. And they're like, I swear I'm not going to counter anything, man. <laughs> Thought not. Aww. That's still a pretty good draw. All right. Should we play a Yabamaya Coast? Yeah. So then Just that, in case? Yep. That way we can counter something if necessary. Always necessary, do really. Or rather, if possible. This guy likes to get mountains. Too bad we don't have summary dismissal in our deck to counter all those Volica triggers after he scape shifts. <laughs> or just a cryptic command to bounce one back to his hand so it doesn't resolve. Because they <laughs> check up on resolution. <laughs> yep. Good lord, that's. <laughs> it's that hot, I've done it. <laughs> They are really high in this mountain stuff. Are they on the breach right now? No, well, it's okay. 
Boy, this stubborn now is going to be real sad. They have sad. like one green source right now. Dude, now they found another one. Well, yeah, the wood elves get some forest. It wouldn't surprise me if they found a way to find a mountain off of it. So, <sighs> we're just like... Smash or kill? Dead, yeah. Like, we, I mean, we have to go for it. Okay. okay. We just have to hope that they don't have anything. Because <laughs> they have, what, six mana right now? Yeah. Like, so, scape shift are naked, stubborn, doesn't do anything to it. Mm -hmm. And prime time just doesn't get countered. So we have to play out the smash here in order to make stubborn relevant. Yeah. Man, we have like thought knots right there. Have a, yeah, we watch thought knot would have been great on turn two, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, going thought knot into smasher. Oof. We just converted. You mean like we did last game. <laughs> converted every non lane we've drawn into thought knots. We probably would be in a pretty good spot. To be fair, anytime you just have thought knots in multiple. Oh boy, just here the comes game. the big boy. Yeah, big and thick. All right, so we need to draw a path like now. What are they going to grab? Double Valka. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they just yikes. Oh boy. Oh boy. See, this is obviously the battle between the decks I should be playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very fair representation. Very good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. <laughs> Definitely a high I'm done. We drew a lot of lands that game. We drew all lands. That was miserable. Alright, drop. We <laughs> 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 can just drop. <laughs> Drop, oh God, build Valakut, <laughs> go it again. <laughs> Alright, dude, I gotta take off. <laughs> Alright, man, have a good night. Thanks for joining. Yep. Oh, yeah, all your stuff. Thanks for bringing my deck back. Yeah, that amazing deck you're playing right now. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, yeah. I have two people bring back cards. I got like two grand back. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Why do we play one this was game? an entire deck? Uh, the other was a stack of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. Mm hmm. Reasonable. Mm -hmm. Reasonable hobby for people to play. Yeah. See you guys later. See you, man. Have, Have a good one. Stay safe. and warm. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what do you say? It's so dark. Oh. Which it is. He could just turn on the light. But no one ever knows where the light switch is. Yeah. When it's not your house, it's hard to find the light switch. One of them's hidden underneath a handrail. <laughs> the one for going up the stairs, it's, a, it's hidden underneath the handrail. So if you really don't know the house, you're not getting there. All right, so uh, this snacky. Yep, yeah, we're gonna run out our noble on human. What? We're not just going. Or we can just temple, go temple, temple, temple in the temple. Huh? Well, we're gonna thought not turn two either way. But one does die to a bolt, so. Yeah. We'll do the temple, temple. This way, we also get to just play cavern. Drazi versus the island Serum Visions deck. So, when's your first ASMR stream going to be? <laughs> Oof. All right, opponent will only have one singular Faithless looting that we get to take from them and strand the four phoenixes in their hand. Well, next turn we can... Oh, it's cool because we get to go Thought Knot again and then play it, and then when we drop the Displacer, we'll be able to blink their uh, thing in the ice. Yeah. I feel like we... Take this metamorphose. Yeah, it's the most reasonable thing. Let's see what they got. Oh, I should change it because you're no longer like <laughs> in that chair. 
You're not in charge. Mm-hmm. And no Phoenix has been. We're so lucky. Uh-huh. Um I'm trying to think if we play the first caverns on humans and run up the noble. But I think we just we're seeing what's in their hand first anyway. Or do we just go smash her? Because that thing in the ice is gonna flip no matter what. So then we'd be able to hit them for nine. No, I think we want to uh Bot not here. Rip another card out of their hand. Yeah. Does give them two more draws. After this. Uh, what is the play? What could they have in their hand that we would care about? I don't think we'd care about much, to be honest, right? So yeah, probably just smash her and push damage. Yeah. None of these are horrors, right? All right. <laughs> no, they should be horrors. Some horror Eldrazi. I mean, I feel like a lot of the Eldrazi and shadows were horrors. I was worried, like, cut shots us and bounces in this turn. It's like, Ugh. Our opponent's letting us know that we're really good at magic. We already knew that. <laughs> I feel like that's a salty message. Oh yeah, the saltiest. Oh, the I love the salty messages as they're winning. Oh yeah, they're just like clearly winning, but like he's not winning by miles by playing his Phoenix deck, and so he's just mad. But I'm playing the number one deck in modern. He's got. He's gonna. Be like thought scour for a wow alright uh, so we get to blink his thingy yep um I think I do want to need humans on this just sure. in case we draw the Thalia I want to be able to cast it and we are just going to I think it's when they get to untap with that though, that's gonna be pretty painful. I guess we just wait, right? Yeah. You just do it in their combat step or when they try to bolt. Yeah. That way they can't blink again. Yeah. Keeps them from um getting counters off of it. Mm-hmm. You. It's a counter on ascension. Mm-hmm. It's the third mana morphos. Reese was telling me that everybody's really moving towards more ascensions. Yeah, ascension in the main is pretty pretty good. Mm -hmm. Like I, I like the lists that played in the main. It's a very like it's and it's like the first card that gets boarded out. Yeah, I feel like every like you never want that card after sideboard because your opponent's just gonna jam just all the graveyard hate. Yeah. in game one, it's so strong. When, does it check on resolution? For the pirate for the pyromancer's trigger. Wonder. Uh, so no, it just checks when you cast, huh? Goodbye, displacer. Can we draw another temple to really make our opponent angry? <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Like, I'd love to just go thought not thought not and make them really angry at us. Okay. I think we just have to go for the Smasher play, right? Yeah. And try to Noble win. Smasher. Mm hmm. Well. He has three cards in hand. Oh, I guess we are limiting the options for them to do it. Yeah. Like, this makes it so, like, he's. And we can still it's harder to flip the thing in the ice. Yeah. Because otherwise, we just die to thing. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Do we just take 
that ceremony? I think so. Or, well, do we have to take the crackling drink? Um, he's so, he has... Oof. Snap can hit a bolt, metamorph. Yeah, just a... They could snap metamorphos. Get the counter. That and then the next turn go crazy. Or they can just play a crackling Drake. I think we have to take the Drake. Cause I don't yeah, think we're cause we can't. Bolt. We can't beat it. Yeah. Like we'd have to draw path. We'd have to draw path drowner or one of the fly dudes. Mm -hmm. Just to hold it off. Yeah. And even then. Not a great spot, so yeah, I think we have to take a Drake. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess the spawner doesn't work because then you'd have Snap Bolt. Mm-hmm. That was awkward. That hair was really good. Sure was. Yeah. Oh, Serum's online, so they just get the Snap Double Bolt. Doesn't kill us though. No, but it's they're gonna draw another card off that thought non potentially kill us. <laughs> I think it's fine. It, it's what we had to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think their hand was just. Uh, yeah, maybe we had no, to flame take... slash. That's pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Yep. He flame slashes both of our guys. Mm-hmm. Cracks at us for three, <laughs> and then. They can snap double bolt, and we'll we'll be at one, and we can't kill them. Or they can just chain. Yeah, they're they're gonna be able to flip this, and it'll be over. Well, if they flip it, the phoenix gets phoenix bounced. goes away, which then gives us one more turn, I suppose. No, because then they just snap bolt the following turn. Yeah. Oh no, because yeah, we, we get to Thought Knot and take the snap. Yeah, but then we're in like chump block mode. Oh yeah, there's, there's just a lot that can go wrong here. Cause we're gonna Not to mention they can just play the Phoenix again. Play the Phoenix again, yeah, that's that's it. Yep. Our, our opponent with the Ruffle in the chat. Yeah. Alright, so I want to bring in the Path and the Rest in Peace. Um, I do want to bring in the Rexages and the Knights because they do play the Blood Moon, and I'm expecting them to bring those in. That's fair. Do you ever bring in Stubborn Denial? I thought about it, and a lot of people were telling me that I shouldn't. But I felt like it was like it can be worthwhile. I guess it doesn't stop them from flipping Thing in the Ice or returning Phoenixes because mm -hmm. they just jammed the spells yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Um, and Thragtus, you know, possibly can just block for a while, but I think at the end of the day it's just not worth it. Um, EE can hit their thing in the ice and hit their Blood Moon. This is uh, another decent card. But... Um, Deputy of Detention doesn't seem bad here. Okay. Because they like, they bring back a pile of Phoenixes and you can Deputy the, all of them. Mm-hmm. Like, sure, it dies to bolt, but... Mm. Okay, nice to bolt. <laughs> um, so the downside here is that we're bringing in a lot of colored spells, and there's a chance we're going to take out a lot of um, of the Eldrazi and the colorless, so uh, potentially on the chopping block are some ancient stirrings. Mm -hmm. um, paths are good. Um, nobles, I think, are going to be really important, especially with us having bringing in all these colored spells. So displacers are great. Spawners are kind of awkward because I want them for blocking the Phoenix, but at the same time, they're like usually our worst creature. So I think I'm going to take these out along with the Ewick because we are bringing in the Rest in Peace. Mm -hmm. um, we could take out all the Stirrings and then also bring in another EE, but we, we have all of this still. Yeah. Drowners don't seem that great. And they're a little slow. Like, I don't mind doing this right here. Sure.
There we go. Me? We'll lead off with uh, Caverns on Humans and... Play the novel. Taking damage. If we get one more land here, I mean, we're in a pretty great spot. Yeah. Because we got double path, we got EE, we're going to be able to deal with a lot of stuff they have. So. Okay, not quite what we were looking for, <laughs> but. It'll it's, work. It, yeah, it's still fine. We get to smash them for four. Mm -hmm. That two mana it's sleight of hand. Weird that they play sleight of hand in the deck. Because they play Serum, Opt, um, Serum, Opt, Thought Scour, Faith is Looting. Where does he. Good lord, he has a beacon bolt in his deck. Mm hmm. I know they play that a lot. Those usually is a one up in the side. I know Reese was at. He just screwed. They're done here. Oh no! Yeah, because I also tried out that um, colorless. Did we want to cut like one ancient strings for one drowner? Um, I don't know. I feel like the stirrings earlier on pretty strong so just having the higher chance of hitting them to make sure we're hitting our lane drops and then hitting the displacer or the ee to sure. take out because as much as i love this card they're so fast that i don't there's a lot of times that's just not going to be relevant yeah there's a very good chance they had a blood moon they didn't want to show us well this is awkward um this i mean starlings finds the land right and we're on the draw so, yeah, they might have had that Blood Moon, but I expect them to be on Blood Moon. Yeah, <laughs> it's the the Phoenix sideboard packs like two to three, so mm -hmm. you just always expect them to port it in against your deck if you just lose immediately yeah. to the card. And we do, <laughs> except for when we have those double nobles. So we'd like to hit a land here and then another land with the stirrings, and we'd be pretty sad if one of those, especially if one of those is a... Natural draw Thalia, so we can play it onto hit a land. Well, and spell that we can cast. It's a Cavern of Souls. And a temple. We've been to Thalia now. We did been to oh. Thalia. I feel like we take the... I think we take the temple so we can play Night of Autumn well no that's not going to be relevant but yeah I guess they blood moon us we're, yeah we're they blood moon us it's, it's, it's happening so I guess we'll take caverns yeah this allows us to at least beat a ceremonious rejection mm-hmm Thing in the ice. Nope. It's the beginning of the end for us, Manamorphos. Manamorphos. Yeah. <gasps> Faithless. Oh, they left Pyromancer's Ascension in their deck. Wow. This guy. <laughs> well, he didn't snap off two Phoenixes. Sure. 
should be a good thing for us. Yeah, just one Phoenix. We'll take that. We're so good at life. Do we just path the Phoenix? <sighs> yeah, I think so. I think we still just want to name Eldrazi. Although yeah. it's going to shut off that Night of Autumn. It's fine. <laughs> I feel like that thing's not getting canned for a while. Because, like, if we drew the land for the Night of Autumn, we want to be catching, like, other stuff, too. Right. into play. I mean, we can just have them draw cards, right? Yeah, easy. <laughs> uh, that's just foolproof plan. Yeah, that keep. I guess we had to hit two lands there, so the keep was pretty trash, wasn't it? Yeah, but if you hit, like, a temple, the hand just goes nuts. It does. It does. It has really high upside, because we had so many just really strong cards in hand, but I don't know. Like, what What are we trying to... What are we trying to do by mulliganing? Like, what What does that dig us towards? Well, my, my wife is saying that we should be trying to go for fast mana, no folly, a path, quality, I mean, not quality, but a path in the opener, so... And that had none of it, which is, uh... That's a solid point. And we're done. Yep. Alrighty. Not looking great. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going into the any of the big tournaments coming up? Um, I was thinking about going to the the thing that was the modern open this next weekend, but mm -hmm. like ha having to get new tires was sort of like oof. Um, yeah, I did that a, like a month ago. Yeah, but um, no, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to play modern right now. Like, there's a lot of great standard events coming up. Yeah, but I'm not free on those weekends oh. <laughs> it was really convenient because like regionals i was i didn't have my kid and then this next weekend i don't have my kid mm -hmm. and um like, <sighs> let's see here yeah like it, it all lined up and like if i like i i was wanting to there was the also the team open that i had a weekend open but it was, you know, standard modern legacy, and so like, right. like I could play standard. Like I wouldn't have mind minded playing Drakes, or borrowing someone's mono blue, because I feel like I could pilot those in standard pretty well. And then have you know, there's plenty of modern players, but there's no one here in GR that plays like legacy. Like all of our right, legacy, right, players. Yeah. like I just don't know the people that play legacy. I don't either. So, so it's really rough when you have like if it would have been unified modern, I could have cobbled together some people. I imagine. But. Oh yeah, I'm I'm always excited when there's a unified modern tournament. So we mulled away that hand that had just two lands with a lot of spells. It had to have a lot going right for it. This hand has this double hand is temple. Super bad. So it just it doesn't have any colored mana. I really wish it had just one colored mana. One of those temples was another color. I feel mana. like this deck has the same issues that uh, black white Eldrazi Tax has had. Mm -hmm. Like the mana base is just garbage yep yep so we'll have to mold this as well and we'll keep this weirdly enough a reasonable hand we actually have a curve <laughs> uh we're able to go displacer thought not smasher and we'll just win from that right yeah easy and we even have the displacer thought not lockout so good Unfortunately, our opponent put blue-white land into play. Now we're dead. <laughs> Can't beat a counter spell. No, we're just gonna rip the uh, caverns next. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, that's so close. All right, now we'll get a hit in.
<laughs> what? Okay. All right. Show me. Show me the ceremonious rejection in your main deck opponent. Okay. All right. You got it. Yep. Oh, take our finest land. Man, we can't even eat with it back now. I know. It's so rude. What the hell is Triple that? Triple Field of Ruin? <laughs> Triple Field of Ruin. Cryptic Timely Reinforcements. <laughs> we take... The cryptic. Because then we can next turn go... Because they're going to Field of Ruin us, we'll be able to go e it back the land. They can't cast that cryptic for like 5 million years. Well, I don't know if them casting the Timely is re relevant though, is it? I mean, I guess so. Like, it's going to be awkward when they gain 6 life and 3 guys, but... Like, they're casting Cryptic in 3 turns. Like, even if they cast it next turn, we're going to be able to smash her and smash it, get rid of the life gain, and then they have 3 one ones. I guess so. Yeah, get rid of the Cryptic. It's just a powerful card. Mm -hmm. It also draws a card. It looks like everything they want. Yeah. Not to mention they're probably just going to be casting or playing Field of Ruin and activating it anyways. Right, and if they, and if they Field of Ruin our temple, we, we would have to play the e with to get back the land. And then on their turn, if they draw just a, a blue source, they'll be able to Cryptic it. Yeah. Land. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that was a basic though. We didn't want that one. Nope, that was the worst one we could have gotten. And are, do they just have two more strip mines in hand? Though? They certainly do. <laughs> they certainly yikes. do. That's a big yikes. Well, the question is whether or not they want to burn a timely this turn though. They're definitely casting timely reinforcements. Just... They obviously don't know that we're on no more. By the way, that island artwork on their side of the board is pretty sweet. The what? The island artwork. Oh, yeah. What set is that from? I don't know. I well, to... Middle click it. Make it big. Mm. Oh, that's a Dominaria island? That looks sharp. I bet that would look amazing foil, and I don't oh, even like Lord, foils. Yes. Yeah, it's like a real shame. Like, some of these lands, I kind of wish that they were just like, they had like full art versions. Like, John, don't get me wrong, John and Evan lands are cool, but some of these other artworks just, they still deserve some love. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to hold the caverns. Oh, so they, <laughs> that seems fine. So. Were we supposed to just jam? Eh, yeah, no, I no. Because if they like wrath this or something or get rid of it in a way that's not an exile, I want to be able to eat with it back. I mean, that's not happening. They're playing condemn. Shh. They, I think they built this deck to just have no actual kill. It's just all exile. All exile. Because they want to just like hurt ne the phoenix player really yeah. badly it, or the dredge player. Yeah, that's fair too. Put your three three on bottom. <laughs> <laughs> dredge that back now. You know, bouncer smasher. Do it. Tick up. What do you do? Do it. So they brainstorm, you coward. I mean, it should plus up on us, right? I mean, they don't know what's in our hand. Well, they know we didn't play anything. I mean, honestly, the, I would brainstorm here because they have three one ones to block with. Yeah. Oh yeah, and just let it go to one. Yeah, and then if they draw path, they can path this card they have plenty of things to discard in their hand mm -hmm. jeez <laughs> yikes attack your jace directly so you told you that was going to be the <laughs> <laughs> It 
I would have just been able to <laughs> tap down and draw. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, that'd be a nine, though. Think of All right, now they find out. Uh oh. Attempt to resolve. Fail to find. We've got nothing, folks. Yeah, now they're out for blood. <laughs> you look at them, they're like, get them. Get them. <sighs> Now we're gonna play this cavern and we're gonna feel really stupid. Um, well, I was gonna have us play Thalia out first because, um, if they have the Blessed Alliance or whatever it is. No, we already talked about this. They're on all exile. Oh. <laughs> it's fair. It's fair. What if they had two mana exile? Uh oh, they're gonna opt. <laughs> oh no, we should have played the Thalia! Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> oh no! I regret everything so much. Yikes. I guess <sighs> they would have just responded with opt anyways. Yeah, but then we'd have a Thalia. Which I guess we have a Thalia now. Yes. Oh boy. Play a cavern on spaghetti? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't this readily there for me. No. MTGO is not a quality program like Arena is. Do we want to just run out the Eternal Witness? It beats like a removal spell. Yeah. Well, I guess it doesn't beat, but. It's <laughs> It certainly plays around it to try and kill this Jace, which is going to be brainstorming again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no one trash talking us in chat. Oh no. <laughs> it's just so click no. So much value. Oh, he drew the fourth field of ruin? So good at this game. What? In the name of. We drew a temple. Alright, kill this Jace. It's dead. There's, he has nothing. They're gonna condemn us. There's literally no spells in their hand that can stop us. Path. <laughs> Snap path. Shh. <laughs> God, why do you open your mouth like this? I'm done with this. This is, this is over. Yeah, we're in I, garbage time right oh now. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy smokes, what do you even do against this deck? Is this blue white with random stuff put in? I don't there? know. It's like they it's like the Hearthstone autocomplete came to magic and built a blue white deck for someone. I guess. Alright, I'm taking out the EEs. I'm bringing in the stubs, the frag test, the detention, deputy detention. Um I think we just gotta take out the paths as well. We're just gonna really push some aggression around them and try to win. I mean, Knight of Autumn's a 4-3 for Stubborn Denial. Okay. Let's <laughs> take out two um, spawners for that. Excellent. Let's do it. Time to give them the beat downs. So here's my three mana 4-3. Okay, we're playing Thali. <laughs> yep. Oh, God, it's a human soldier. It sure is. Can't, this is what I was talking about with Night of Autumn. It's uh, like the, a lot of the sideboard cards are like really awkward because uh, because of what we're trying to play, um, we get punished pretty hard because getting just like I, I apologize for convincing you to put Night of Autumn into our deck. So. <laughs> oh, fine. Got him. We get to name. Uh... I'm name Aldrazi with the first one. I'll name Night next time. Okay. I was thinking maybe Dryad just to really just spice mess it, with them. Spice it up. <laughs> no, the next one, the, the other cabins, we're gonna get Dryad. <laughs> oh, got that Prairie Stream. It's a dueling that just comes into play tapped. It's a powerful mm -mm -mm. No. Hiya. Triad. Yeah. Yeet. Oh, you have to 
Huh? Tap for green on the dryad one. Well, I was thinking about just running. Oh, we're display. running displacer. Okay, never mind. Right. Cause I figured we were just putting a four three in play and telling them to get bent. No, I'd rather hold off another turn because then we can. Um, oh do no! Something. Opponent, stop! God. They know our weakness. Well, we can go get a forest now, I suppose. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, should we have mulligan this hand because I had a basic in it? <laughs> You're not unreasonable. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, we can't cast it. <laughs> oh no. We named Dryad. What were we thinking? Oh. Although, to be fair, Ewit and Noble are shamans. So, like, if there's any sort of shaman things. Oh, I mean, e Wait, is Rex Age a shaman? Ewit, Rex Age, Thalia, and Noble are all humans, too. No, I thought Rex Age was an elf. Oh, it is. It's an elf shaman. It's relevant. Okay. Well, pretty Well, I guess sure... we play this 4-3 for 3. For three. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> we'll make it not common. Or, wait. Do we hold up Blink so we can protect Thalia? Well, I mean, if we do it one more turn later, we'd have some strong power, though. Yeah, this is fair. Like being able to blink Knight or um, Knight or Thalia. No, you did. Oh, I clicked mode. the wrong button. <laughs> you just did it so fast. You're like for life. I saw. F uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, we're just confusing. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Got him. The opponent couldn't beat for life. We won through confusion, folks. <laughs> he just, he could not handle Caver. Like, he couldn't counter the Dryad Knight. It's, it's an uncounterable 2-1 that gains four life. He doesn't have a single card in his deck that can beat gaining four life. Oh, well, this is solid. Yeah. That's really bad. The hands were like, oh, this is solid. It's like a human's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just quit playing this, these stupid spaghetti things. And no, man, it's fine. Do we play the Sky Spawner next turn? So uh, three. Debatably. Because then the following turn we'll be able to Thalia and hold up Stubborn. Because if we play Thalia, we can't cast Stubborn anyway. Yeah. So... So yeah, I think we run out the Sky Spawner. We'll name this one on Aldrazi. We'll name the first one on Humans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mana League, that opponent. No, D don't, don't Field of Ruin Stop us. that! God, it's Why the are... mono Field of Ruin deck. Why are they so mean? I mean, this is better than Blood Moon, but Lord Almighty. wonder if they play um, Crucible just so they can field and run more. Oh, God. Okay. Show them who's boss. Play that cavern. <laughs> um, do we want to run Thalia out here or Thought Knot? Um, Probably Thought Knot, right? Yeah, that's fair. Because then we could still... No, we can't hold up the counter. Yeah, we can. We'd have to sacrifice our Eldrazi Scion if we wanted to hold up the counter. What's the what's the one one doing for us? Well, right now it's gonna not swing because I have Exalted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hmm. Thalia does start messing with them. Hmm? their mana. Like Thalia is pretty good at messing with their mana. Like it does, and then we can still hold up the uh, the counter. Yeah. If they try to drop, like, a Jace or something, and then next turn do the Thought Knot. I guess we, like, play Island here. Yeah. And then, like, if they feel for it again. We just cry. <laughs> well, no, they blow up our one on humans, and then we get to play Cavern on Eldrazi afterwards. Tr true. But I'll still cry. I'm so happy. I won't take that from you. <laughs> That's worth... That's probably not worth countering. 
Because they're just getting three creatures. No, they're, they're getting them. They're getting six they're, yeah. light, but it's like, that's not... I think that's fine. Yeah, that's a spell. Everything that we have is just more... Yeah, he can't block the two one in the air. Mm -hmm. The two one on the ground is first strike. Yeah. So. All right. Um, okay, yeah, we can... Drowsy, and then we can... We don't want to swing with the scion though, because we need to keep it open for right, right. stubborn. So we're just gonna thought not them here. Um, I feel like we take crypt. I think so. I think cryptic. Yeah, and then like we don't yeah. care about leak. They'll have to rush out the Jace, and, we, and yeah. then we can sub it. Yep. And we're, we're just going to hit them in the air for three. Seems reasonable. Okay. So we know they didn't yeah, do anything. they played the land yeah. that we didn't know. Okay. Thanks, opponent. Free information. The most powerful magic spell. Get out of here. You weren't ready. Jace for that. the mind sculptor. Well. Do we run ourselves into the top deck terminus? I think we can play out one. We have another one. I guess that's fair. And like right now, we uh, their leak doesn't matter, so I guess it doesn't. Here and here. I wonder if we tap down, if we swing with a Thalia and then tap down one of their guys with the Scion, and then they can't block Thalia profitably. That's not unreasonable. Because then we're pushing more damage through. Because now Thalia can just swing here and mm -hmm. This guy's really good. They're so good at this game. The Jace was bait <laughs> for the for the top deck that they knew they were gonna rip on us. Mm-hmm. Land. Smash We'll also take this. Alright, remember to yeah, there we go. Awesome. Eldrazi spells are uncounterable. Where's your field of ruin now, opponent? Where is your god? Good habit to condemn. <laughs> uh, they at least have to discard this card. Too. Yeah, the planes in their hand they don't care about. Alright. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, oh my lord, this guy. There's the planes. They still have a mana leak. We're getting you, opponent. We're really trying. Even through our misclicks. Well, my misclicks. <laughs> oh no, opponent. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh no, this drone rope. What are you doing, opponent? Oh no. Our beautiful our beautiful spaghetti boy. Oh got him. Easy. <laughs> Get out of here. Um, I'm gonna turn this instead. I just, I just feel it. <laughs> I, was, just... I was thinking it. I wasn't gonna say it because I didn't want to curse us. It's happening. It's happening. Punch probably just like this guy ripping the third <laughs> cavern of souls or the fourth. That's the fourth cavern. We Good play Lord. four of them, <laughs> but they have all the field of ruin, so they can't complain. Is that so oh. snaps supreme? This is the literal worst. Just haymakers back and forth. I mean, I guess this is better than most other things we could be doing in modern. Alright. Thought not. 
Show me your finest thoughts, please. Another Jace. That's two Jaces down. Smasher. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice man alive. <laughs> Game three, baby. Or, oh, oh no. that was the match? Yeah, we lost the first one, but they conceded to our game two life creature, remember? <laughs> I mean, game four life creature. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy job. <laughs> I was never a concern, folks. Oh, this is solid. We're gonna go stirrings into whatever, into Thalia. Every time I see an Aaron Mace, I expect burn. And it's burn. You're not wrong. Well, this is awkward. I don't want to shock ourselves. You want to windswept, get a forest? Well, that's the option, but now we just drew in Drowner. Yeah, it's not coming down anytime soon. <laughs> Well, the, the other thing is, if we don't run out Temple, we won't have the white source for Thalia. Mm -hmm. So I think we just have to shock. All right. You've convinced me. Yikes. <laughs> well, none of those are great. I guess we can take Temple here, because that allows us to go... Turn 3 Smasher yeah, into Turn, turn 2 four, Thalia, drummer. Turn 3 Smasher. Mm -hmm. and turn 4 Drowny Boy. Maximum beatdowns. Some disgusting burn player over there. Ah, monster. Who just plays burn, right? They should play something reasonable, like Listen, Eldrazi. At least it's not that, like, Peter Glo Glokowski, or whatever that guy was who was emoting the entire frickin' time in the Invitational. He was, like, in the time. He was playing in the finals, just, like, emote. He was playing, like, uh, what was it? Mono red versus Esper and just emoting him the whole time. <laughs> this is like okay. You think they would actually shut that off? Well, they 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 do, but oh, you can still emote. You can yeah, still just do, do it. it. Andrew Minguchi gave him the business though, so Jesus, we're nine. Yeah, yeah. They just play burn spells, and then we cry. Good lord. Okay. I think we have to smash here. Yep. You just gotta try to close Goblin this Goblin Guide is not a creature. Card was never printed. <laughs> oh god, are they searing blazing Arthalia? This dirt bag playing this blue searing blaze. That means he's really good. He's just guy. That's a bonus charm. Oh my god! I mean, to be fair, any two burn spells killed us there. But I know, but just the fact that they did that so well. That they, like, they if they couldn't kill the Thalia with the inexactly searing blaze, they just lose. Alright, we're bringing in the Stubborns, we're bringing in the Knight of Autumns, we're bringing in the Thrag Tusk. Do we take out the EEs because they just don't do anything? Um, I think so. Like, we can EE on one. Yeah, but um, I'd, I'd, things path, like, I'd rather put the fourth path in the board. Right. So, I think we're taking out the EEs, we're taking out the Drowners. Um, I think the other card we're going to take out is the... I feel like e Wet, but I want to bring back, like, a Knight of Autumn or a Thrag. So... Well, I mean, like, we can do that with a Displacer, right? Yeah. Like, Displace, the Displacer is how we're bringing those back and getting mm -hmm. repeated effects on them. So, like, you can cut the e Wet because it's, like... It's not an efficient creature. Well, I was thinking Smasher was the other luck card. I mean, I guess. Because, like, there is the possibility of Ewit bringing back something like a stub that we can't get back with. Yeah, that's fair. And it allows us to bring it back after it dies. Mm mm mm. This is a painful hand. And I think we have to keep it. Mm-hmm. I mean... Do we want to 
I feel like we shock ourselves here. Do we shock the ancient stirrings? I think so. Because then... I don't know. It's I mean, either that or just put it into play tap and next turn go Thalia. Yeah, like, I feel like we already have our turn two. Uh-huh. And then we have, like, two draws still kind of to... Or, yeah, we have two draws before turn three. And the so, downside like, is that we'll be able... We'll have to go tap out completely for the stirrings. I mean, I feel like that's... No. Like, well, could, okay, yes, so we'd be we'll, playing the Hollowed Fountain tapped, alright. Exactly. But I mean, like, I kind of want to just play the Hollowed Fountain tapped anyways. I just don't even want to, like... It, well, the, so, like, there's a chance that we can get, like, the Thought Knot, which would be really huge against them. Being able to drop it. I guess we're shocked, double-shocking ourselves. Yeah. I feel like we'd lead with tapped Hollowed Fountain, then go Temple, and then go Thalia. Okay, let's go Hollowed And then we go tapped Temple Garden, have Stubborn Denial up. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, yep, no shock, just Thalia. It took us a while, but we got to your same conclusion. Jesus. Land. Thought knots on top. Easy peasy. Put this fine, fine Thalia into play. They're gonna bolt it and smash us. I mean, that's. As long as it's not Searing Blaze sure. and smash us. No, they can't. Thalia yeah. stops those shenanigans. Mm -hmm. I kind of stop staying with things. I mean, it's <laughs> fine. Like, they <laughs> had to bolt our Thalia. Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna I shock ourselves feel, here. For... Yeah, I feel like we want to shock ourselves for this Thought Nuts here. Chose something good to take. Jesus. Um, do we take the Boros Charm? I think. Well, because if the Thought Knot gets like Rift bolted and Helix, you're like, sure. Well, we can just stub it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I think we just yeah, take the Boros Charm. Yeah. Does four damage on the next turn mm -hmm. when we're tapped down. And do we just, like,. Start keeping stubborn to open the yeah. yeah, like we wait on the smasher. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do here is that we're just gonna put this in play tap or get the um, st uh, stirrings. Oh, yeah, okay. So they, they just have a rift pull. Okay, that's fine. Like, we still want to stub the helix, I guess. Now we point at our face. I mean, yeah. Huh. I guess we start with stirrings. Yeah. Those were all temples and a sky spawner. Um, Brushland lets us do a one pain life for st ancient stirrings. I think we just take the spawner. Yeah, it's fair. We're just gonna put this on play tapped. Yeah. And then we're just gonna pass turn. Mm -hmm. And we'll see where they send their rift bolts. Alright, that's at us. And I think that's fine. Yeah. As, uh, as us as well. I think that's still fine, right? Mm -hmm. Like, they have the helix in hand that they're going to be casting this turn. Mm -hmm. Jeez, they drew another guy. That's bad. Okay. Well, they could swing all out here. It does get four damage in, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of rough. He what's on top. Hopefully they cast this helix here. Yeah, that'll be very good for us. Just jam it, opponent. Please. No. Nope. Uh, Alright, um... Do we just play Sky Spawner Noble? I think so, and then we hold up Stub, and then next thing we can e back the Stub. Yeah. 
So we smack him with thought not this turn because we have to start getting the clock on. Yeah. <sighs> well, yeah, I was going to, you know, we cast our spells first because we kind of want to get our, um, we want to have Exalted. Yeah. Now we should be able to close it out in two turns here. I mean, two additional turns. Yeah. Um, you're thinking of holding it up for Boros Charm. Yeah, because it doesn't kill us. Although we do die if they have a an idol on. I think we counter it. Yeah, we counter the helix. We already exiled the Boros Charm, so they have to. Yeah, yeah, this is better. Because then it allows us to e whip back the stub next turn anyway. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a good point. Do you think they even kept in Eidolon? I mean, you never know. Path on top. Good blocks. He went back the stub. And then just crash again. Doing exactly what you said he would do. Mm-hmm. So we call being a master of a deck. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to path the goblin. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, we, just, we just block it with the e right? No, because I want to be able to... Um, no, I guess... I don't know. I was thinking path because then we can still swing with the e -wit, But it doesn't really matter because the smash is coming down to finish the game off anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's run it back. actually been pretty relevant that game just E on one they're like oof. <laughs> oh yeah that's what I always think about like there's times where E is just amazing and then there's like there's there's a time. oh lord this hand is uh yeah, we're shipping this one I guess we're keeping um, this yeah turn two thought not if they don't kill our guy and... yeah and thought not's pretty huge against them do we can't run on humans yeah <laughs> Oh, we kept a non land on top. We could have gone back up. Yeah, I think we go caverns on humans because we're gonna wanna. Yeah. Them. But wanna... so like the awkward thing is if they have like searing blaze, they'll they're gonna kill our noble and then we won't be able to cast sky spawner. But we wouldn't be able to cast sky spawner anyway if we played brushland. Yeah. So. Because we play bad four color decks. Do it upon have a heart. Oh god. <laughs> We're so dead. It's such a searing blaze right now. Ah, oh, it's a bolt. Well, that's and a better. Grim Lob Mitzer? Okay. What? <laughs> I guess he's using that to upgrade his three damage spells and five damage spells. Yeah. It's a displacer we can't play either. Ugh. So yep. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> oh totally reasonable. What the crap? <laughs> oh no, where's our where's our engineered explosives? Can opponent! We, can we have opponent, that e -E? your hands empty! Can we have the EE -E on one? Can we have that EE -E on one? Um do we just 
play a 4-4 four, for four, 4 that doesn't do anything? We're just dead. We're actually just dead. Right? Well, we can sky spawn or block two things. Yeah. What in the world? We yeah, I think that's it. We just play sky spawner and block two things. They shoot one, we Ugh. might be able to trade with another. So then we don't even uh, they shoot our they shoot our sky spawner, and then we don't get to trade with anything. And then We're just dead to us. <laughs> Sometimes E so it, well it's like I always hate it against burn because like they have so many one drops and then a couple two drops, right? And like a lot of times you get it and they have just the one creature, so then at that point I'd rather just have had the removal spell anyway. Um, instead of having to pay like three mana to do it, but... Well, it looks like they burked down a spell, because we were just literally dead to any spell. Or what? They just wanted to kill us with style. Okay, alright. Alright. So... Ugh. We're done here. <laughs> <laughs> Two and three. 